Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Rising Superstream, where we are back on our The World Ends With You bullshit. How you guys doing this morning? Oh, I probably just got demonetized by YouTube because I swore. <laughs> I forgot I can't swear now. No swearing allowed. <laughs> I want more hard data on that. Is that real? Is that not? They probably don't know. They probably do. YouTube's YouTube's computers are crazy and they can do anything. How you guys doing today? <laughs> I noticed just like the last The World Ends With You stream, I have suddenly and immediately jumped into the game, uh, which is unusual. Most of the time when we streamed Prey or Battle Network, I would meander for like three minutes, but I fucking love this game, so hey, we're doing it. <laughs> Be creative with your swearing. Yeah, if it's artistic swearing, I can get away with it. My volume is crazy loud. I don't know about you guys. Uh, where's my cable? My setup has like a cable that plugs directly into my TV, a setup, and a plug that goes to the computer. The computer's a lot louder for me, so there we go. So uh, we're continuing today. Uh, we're very close to the end of the first week. In fact, we're right there at the end of the first week. Um, so if you are wary for spoilers from this game, then don't, don't watch this probably. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Edward11231 said he just got back from his first Unity workshop. Congratulations, dude. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Unity is a fun ass program to work with, so I hope that goes good for you. Apparently you can totally cheese shut down PP without even closing the game. Oh, that's cool. When I need that, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to look at how that works. Three reduction chain battle. Okay. No problem. What do I have for pins equipped right now? Oh yeah, right. A couple people have offered up like pin upgrade guides and stuff. Don't don't even. I really appreciate it. Super nice of you guys, but don't even worry about it. I'm not too concerned about getting ideal pins on our playthrough. I'll focus on that after the fact. My level's really high. Uh, probably want like a little bit. Okay, hopefully I remember how to play, because this is a good time. Do you truly believe that this is the final remix? <laughs> uh, for a while it might be. Okay, that's for that button, this is for this button. Okay, yeah, I think I remember how to play. Should be okay. It'd be cool if this wasn't the last remix of The World Ends With You, but hey. Also, can I just say, I really appreciate the nomenclature of a solo remix and final remix for the World Ends With You um, re-releases, uh, and how it works well with Kingdom Hearts final mix and such. Tetsuya and Nomura keeping up having to use the word mix to re-release his game. At least he's consistent, right? I guess that's what makes him so good. <laughs> That cross-project consistency, so you know it's a Nomura thing. He's so good, that guy. I didn't feel tons of love for him until Kingdom Hearts, but now I adore him. So. This is a decent pin setup right now, I feel okay with this. I mean, I'm taking hits, so I'm, I'm playing bad, it's fun. Normal enemies do little enough damage to make a really make a difference. <laughs> Twelve final chapter prologue. Losing's not an option. Twelve zero point two. Yeah, I'd go for it. Wanna be reviewer, you're super welcome. I'm I'm happy to play the world ends with you music. 
Love that shit. Uh, someone earlier mentioned that Shiki's final fusion upgrade is at Molko at this point in time, so I'll just head over to Molko real quick. Oh, no. Gotta do shit. Funky shades. Alright, I don't believe I have those. Or else it would have worked. When's the bouncer final intermix? <laughs> yeah, Reaper review, let's go. It'd be cool if they released the bouncer in any way, shape, or form. Kura kura. The shop in Shibuku Station side. Oof. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm already. Oof. It's gonna be a guess. Happy Beam. Touch command do I use? Uh, happy Beam is slash Neku. Slogan bandanas with Braun makes it. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, 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 Tiger Punks or Hip Snake. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> kura Kura. Was that the one next to Hachiko? You Narumi, that was it. Uh, Happy Beam is indeed slash Neku. And it's hip. Oh, it's hip snake. Okay, well. I wasn't as far off as I had hoped. Still, not enough, but hey, got it this time. I'm To be honest, I'm, I'm pretty excited to play the bouncer after we're done the world runs with you and shit. That's a game that I've just, it's just always existed, and I've always looked at it like, are you a good time? Everyone says no, but I still want to find out. <laughs> Slash Neku, and I hit snake. Oh, and I gotta get those funky shades, too. I'll just buy every set of glasses that come along. Hello. Attack boost, defense boost, what do you need for these? Scarlet, yeah. Not gonna go for either of these right now. Seeing as I only have one Scarlet type, those I will come back for. Her fusion thing is something I would like to get, but those I'll just have to get later in the game. Yeah, I have been streaming through it a little bit slowly, digital booklet, for sure. Between, like, JJ coming out... Actually, it's pretty much just JJ coming out. Like, if JJ hadn't come out, we'd probably be way further ahead, but... Oh, and Magic. Magic the Gathering was the other thing. Um, oh, no, these shades. Were those funky shades? They didn't look too funky. Yeah, they're not Thanks funky. So much. Hi there. I don't know. Come we're we're, we're slow on the world ends with you, but you know what? I'm fine with Come that. Man. I have Thanks no problem so stretching out how long it lasts. JJ was worth it. So good. Will you ever play Chulip? Straight up, Chulip has been... Oh, yeah, I can't get it. I need another Scarlet type. Ah, bummer. I'll get it later in the game then, I guess. Uh, Chulip is a game I've always, always wanted to play, and I've had it on my um, PSN wish list forever. I've just been waiting for it to go on any sale, but it ain't. It ain't going on sale. Uh, <laughs> one day I'll just buy it. It's only ten bucks. Hey, if you like Chulip, by the way, um, I always forget his name. The, 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 the creative, the creative dude who made Chulip. Uh, he just put out his uh, new game on the Switch. It's uh, exclusively on the Switch right now, actually. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> uh, something to do with a bird, a crow, or something like that. It's a horizontal shmup. Um, it looks really good. I was planning to um, stream that on Wednesday, I think. So, yeah. Oh yeah, Sour Goth. I have a little uh, update coming to the schedule. Uh, tonight. Actually, I updated it already if you feel like checking it. Uh, I, I fucked up the times by mistake. <laughs> but the schedule is fixed now. 
We can buy oop parts, make a break, amnesia. Actually, that is the black box mix specifically. Calling it is fashionable in black market. Well, at the end of the day, we gotta get all of them, but right now I'm a little, little broke, Thank so you. let's not. No, I'm gonna eat oop parts. Fuck me, I'm gonna eat oop parts. <laughs> Am I not gonna get oop parts? Okay, I'm gonna get that. So that's set now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. <laughs> that's how it's gotta be. Thank you. How was getting all the donuts in the missing? Um, I ended up using a guide that I found on GameSpot, I think. Uh, before I resorted to the guide, I, I think I was missing about 11 donuts. After the guide, I'm actually still missing three donuts. There's three I can't find. I followed the guide through. I must have just missed them at some point. Uh, but apparently I have all of the story unlocks already, so I'm not, I'm just gonna rock with the three missing. Actually, I scheduled the last, uh, JJ stream. Oh, wow, I did it. Cool. I scheduled the last JJ stream on Wednesday, I think. So this Wednesday we're gonna finally read up all that missing shit. I, I, it was, it was hard to collect all the donuts and not read through all the new stuff, so... <laughs> This is a fun song. Welcome. Till next time. Good day. I don't even know why I bother checking on store. Welcome. It's never got anything for me. Much obliged. I don't know why I even looked in here for the funky glasses. <laughs> of course they're not gonna be in there. Oh shit, this is actually a dead end wall on this day. Fuck me. Time to walk all the way back around. Lunatic of God's creation says, uh, Damn it, after the last Toei stream, I downloaded the phone version and have since beaten it. Damn my impatience. No, that's cool. <laughs> Glad you got motivated to go through it so fast. It's good though, once it sinks, it's hooked in, yeah. It's hard to pull yourself out. Man, this song. I like barely remember this song at all. It's hard to remember the non-vocal tracks, admittedly. I'll clear the road of you, what a tough guy. Fuck this bird. Hopefully I can kill it right now. Oh, I saw those too. I don't want to fuck with these birds. Oh yeah, right, right. Now I gotta fuck with the birds. Jeez, I forgot about this bit. He drops cards on you. Look that bird carting in more scenery. Yes, you actually gotta hit the bird on its way by. Get it a pain. Okay. I need to really wait for it. I should use my fusion when it uh, next swings by. Here it 
<laughs> oh, look at that damage! Holy shit! That did like 70% of its life. So I'd gotten one or two hits in. Nice, that worked out really well actually. I kind of remember that being a pain, but it wasn't, wasn't so bad. Boulder, yeah, no. Yeah, that uppercut, uppercut pin is one of my favorite pins, uh, Solus. I dig that one a lot. So my girlfriend, uh, I lent her, I bought a second copy of the DS game at some point to play it again, like a year or two ago. Uh, never ended up happening because uh, my girlfriend was like, yo, I never played this game, but I like Kingdom Hearts. Can I play it? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Play it. Take this new cartridge I just bought and play it. Um, she played up till this. She finished this conversation. Uh, I remember because I was watching her. And... Uh, she saved and she quit there and she hasn't gone back to the game but she thinks that she's on the last day of the game she thinks she's done and she just has day seven left <laughs> and then she's actually just finished and she's gonna hit the credits um and i'm impressed that she still hasn't gotten spoiled on it uh so I need to get her to come back around to finish it. She actually bought a copy of the Switch version when it came out. Um, so, I gotta get her in on that now. What? I think that's great though, I love that. Like, she'll be in for a heck of a surprise, so. Yeah, Okami could do that to you too, for sure. She said she had that happen to her with Okami when she was younger. I've never fucking finished all of Okami. I want to get the Switch version. It's on. It's like 25% off right now, but I want to wait a little more. Not in a rush. Does the back of the box actually spoil... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I can check. I need to go get water in a minute, so I'll check at the same time. Wow, this track. <laughs> I really like the guitar here. Oh, wow. We may have heard this in a previous stream. But it's not a track. Yeah, we did hear this before. God, I love this. <laughs> I kind of had forgotten about it. <laughs> Let's meet up in the RG, you, me, and beat.
Deku's like, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know how they do this boss on one screen either, so I'm curious. I think Minamimoto, too, he stood on his pile of trash, right? So... Dale. God. <laughs> That's a funny line. I like that. I love how he's got his little reaper wings on his back. But they're like, they're like little in all the cutscenes. Here they're pretty big, but... Now we're boiling. Welcome to my kitchen. I kind of forget the process with this boss. Because right now he's just been sitting there. But okay, we're getting a real stop now. Yeah, eat that. I did so little damage actually though. He's a lot more static than I remember him being. <laughs> I don't have the best memory, but I remember him doing anything. Okay, now we're boiling. Right, yes, okay. The line I keep saying, that's true. He did that right as it got good. Right, 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 okay. I'll mince you, I'll pound you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this now. Oh, paralyzed. Oh my god. Nice. Big hit. Wow, he could really kill me. Bear in mind my level is not where it should be. Probably just to save the heal. Did he just absorb all my Yeah, he did. Fuck, I lost all my heals. <laughs> this is not a good thing. I may need to put my level back up for this fight. Just having so little HP is a little risky. Oop. Oop. Fuck me. <laughs> Yeah, I think this heals you a bit though, so... Yeah, I got a lot of life back there, so... Man, I'm just eating it. Good god. Yeah, I'm <laughs> uh, I need a little more life. Uh, so, can I just change pins and from the menu? No, I can't, can I? Okay, well, I'll just do it better. You know, honestly, if I hadn't squandered all my heals at that one bit, probably would have been fine. Unfortunately, uh, during the taste test, he absorbed all my 
pin uses. That's kind of what it is. When he does that vortex thing, if you try to use a pin on him, it just does no effect. I uh, used all my heals there by mistake. That's all. As long as I don't lose him there, I should be okay. Definitely gotta watch out for this, it does quite a bit of damage. To be honest, all of his hits do quite a bit of damage with the life I put it. Oh shit. All of his hits do quite a bit of damage with the life I set myself to. God, that uppercut does such big damage. Oh shit, I had a glancing, got hit by something. Oh, the lightning keeps going. Oh shit. She didn't remember that. Yeah, what is that lightning? Shit, I can't heal now. Okay, good, we can go for a swipe. Swipe's so big. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh fuck, I just did it again. I'm pretty much boned. Yeah, I'm dead here. Yeah, I also think it's bullshit that he eats your healing pins, but hey. Yeah, of course I barely got anything from that. What is the lightning after this attack that seems to come from the bottom of the screen? Like, what are those little shocks? That's so fucking annoying. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to exit. I'm gonna have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to put my level back up. Give me, give me a chance. Okay, now I should have a ton of life, so I should be okay here. Welcome to my kitchen. This will be hard. Time for a taste. Here it comes. Why don't you back up? See ya. Yeah. Yeah. It's all you. Time for a Come taste. Come on. I'll 
This has been going really well, actually, this fight. Hit I took. Oh, look, it did so little damage to me. I have so much life. Yeah, god, the, the amount of damage I'm taking is, like, so much lower. I'm glad that was all it was, and I'm not just bad at the game. Maxed out set. Need new pins. I don't know if that one's fun to use in this version. Scratch empty space, I wonder how that feels. Probably not great. reason pins sometimes don't evolve when they should be able to, uh, it's because you don't have the right type of experience. He said it. He said nines. stream. Oh, I got shivers. I got shivers now. <laughs> Man, this bit gets really cool really fast, though, if I remember right. <laughs> Game 1, x equals 30 plus 74. guy he's so experienced he knows exactly what he's got to do
He's an old man now. Have you ever learned sine, cosines, and tangents in math at school? Yeah, I did. In high school. I don't know if I could still do it good. Or at all. <laughs> Probably no. <laughs> hey, Diamond Dynamo. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, Pariah, that's correct. It's their job, pretty much. <laughs> it's fun. It's fucking junk heap. It's him. <laughs> God, these guys have a lot of life. Nendroid says, I don't like him. You don't even know who he is. <laughs> You don't even know him, he's super good. Also, on the DS, his mechanic was so fun. So enjoyable. The numbers and the paths and the, yeah, so good. Slash downward in empty space to have Joshua warp in an attack. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, sorry, this is when you're playing as him. Right, right, right. His little giggle. Yeah, Neku really likes Joshua. Like, who really likes Joshua all the time? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is where we get to the good shit. Oh my god, did the 101 club just arrive in my chat? I see all these Borky memes. Memes. Borky fucking, what are they called? Emotes? I don't have emotes. I'm not as cool as Curtis. So I can't afford to put emotes in my chat. <laughs> They're too expensive for me. <laughs> Now I need to stream until Kurt's live, and then dump you guys all back on him. You're all stuck here now. What hell. Oh no, so indeed, to call him you slash downwards. Huh, that is super different. Okay, alright. Joshua's fun anyway, so... 
Uh, let's go this way. Actually, let's feed Joshua. Joshua's hungry and he needs HP pills. Uh, because they don't have other stuff. It'll have to do. And Neku's got nothing. I should just give him this ramen. These are like super inoptimal builds. <laughs> They're barely builds at all. Buy one million ice creams from the burger shop. Oh yeah, they give you two bravery or something, right? I vaguely remember them being all right. His combat was like a bunch more intricate than Shiki's. The moment you get it, you're like immediately thrown off. Okay, so yeah, it's just up the numbers. Okay. Don't be fooled by the mirror images. Okay. You're good as gone. Just swipe down. Oh, I guess right now I got the diffusion. Fuck, these numbers are crazy. I can barely count on a good day, so... Okay, his minigame's pretty simple in this. Oh my god, that didn't even kill. So yeah, just swipe up, swipe down. You gotta do a lot of down swipes. Oh my god, this seems cumbersome. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> it was really easy to get the multiplier high in that minigame, though. I'm extremely good at counting to three, so... Any higher than that, and it gets dicey. <laughs> Oh god. I remember using this pin. It's not it's not very good. <laughs> yeah, I should grab some ice creams. Welcome to Sunshine. Yeah, it was like two bravery, right? Yeah, two bravery. But only five bites. Which was a quicker way to buy bulk. Oh, right, that's the auto buy. So you don't have to confirm the purchase every time. Forgot about that. Thanks, come again. I thought there was another enemy up off the top of the screen. So, like, horizontal. Downwards? God, I need to like get used to this. Down, horizontal, down, horizontal. Okay. It's weird. But I feel like if you could get this down, you can get your fusion up real fast. Whenever there's a successive hit with that like green flash and the psh, your uh, fusion boosts up a bunch, so. And that's explicitly for doing like alternating hits. Dude, the motion controls hurt your wrist. You know, I thought they'd be worse than they are. So actually it's been pretty fine, but I also haven't been playing this game for like longer than three hours at once, so. So is that a slow? He's so cool. So is that a slow? Factoring hecto pascals. What an insult.
Yeah, so Katoa, right. <laughs> Jeez, it's all coming back. Now that I have you rounded up. <laughs> so charming. Oh yeah, shit, the rhinos. These are enemies. Oh, you know what? I've got 100% gauge. Because I can't do a level 2 with him yet. Fuck, I can't count. Follow my lead. Screw that. Is Show actually a garbage man of sorts? Uh <laughs> I mean not quite, but I guess. He deals in trash. What's wrong? So I think you do have to attack this guy from behind to get him in time, yeah. They're a big pain in the ass. What's wrong? How's my Nice. Nailed it. Big damage. Yeah, these rhinos are a pain in the ass. Blue Vexer says he thinks the rhinos are the equivalent of a cake at Kingdom Hearts large body. They, yeah, pretty much are, I guess. Just as much of a pain, too. Oh, yeah, so we got hard difficulty now. Cool. I should bump it up, get better drops. So that whole first week was like Neku building up trust and now it's like he's got to do this hyper trust fall. Always kind of dug that transition. <laughs> I'll deal with the devil if that's what it takes. Jeez. The devil went down to Shibuya. He was looking for his soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was a little in the cut of deal. Willing to make a deal? Willing to make a deal. He came across this young boy, Neku. <laughs> I think that's how it went. Playing tin pin and playing it hot. <laughs> right. That's such a fun song. Are there issues with the Switch version? Uh, not really. You gotta get used to the controls, and you can never, I don't think you can ever really be quite as good as you can be in the DS version because of the controls. But it's it's perfectly good. Yeah, look at this gun. Look at this goofy ass gun. Oh, I, we couldn't really see it. Well, we'll get back to it at some point. Oh shit, what did they have to look out for? What was coming at them, the Reapers? What could it be?
when does Sora come in? Uh, not until the fourth week. I think I have to read his mind. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I spoke to him. Uh, let me actually quickly just set my difficulty and level. Because I'm going to forget. Hard. Hush the noise. I'm just going to put my drop rate to 10. Which is a nice, a nice amount. Tell me who you are and who you were. How Fuck, I need to scan him. Why am I not doing this? <laughs> what does this add to the original? Uh, it has an entire extra story section at the end. Oh man, do they show it already? Okay, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Still a little while yet. Forget about the mission. God, what a worrisome partner. It's only day two, Jesus. Can I try Joshua's co-op? Uh, I'm not that interested. It'll probably be about the same thing as Shiki's, with like different attacks. Oh. Ugh, this song, jeez. Oh wow, this is a good track. game does this a few times where like the story just advances and then they just back up a little bit not too far and kind of explain what just happened it's weird i don't know if i love it i almost feel like i'd rather they had told us everything in order but hey it's fine do you think the world ends with you crew will be in kingdom hearts 3 i can only pray Only one player will get new life. Yeah, he wants to join up. I love it. Riku, no!
how gay is the world ends with you? It's pretty super gay. It, at some points, it's pretty super gay. Every day in front of Hachiko till you come back. That's so sweet because it's like, that's what Hachiko did. He waited and he waited and he waited and his master was fucking dead. And that's, yeah. You know, she's gonna wait in front of Hachiko. Before the next game bin begins, allow me to return your previous entry fee. His memories. <gasps> Where's the rest? Now then, as for your new entry fee, you taking my memory again. Player's entry fee is that which they hold most dear. That is the rule. I've already taken the liberty of collecting yours. What? This time you're playing for Shiki Misaki. Ah, it's so raw. <laughs> it's so raw, it's so good. It's the most rigged game. Just under... Just... Is it slightly above or slightly below McDonald's Monopoly? In terms of rigged. Because McDonald's Monopoly was pretty fucking rigged. Until recently as well. <laughs> yeah, this is when we go to Castle Oblivion. To get the rest of his memories. That's exactly it. Yeah, the McDonald's Monopoly investigation is fucking rad. You guys should read up on that shit. I think the FBI got involved, if I remember right. <laughs> I 
The guy got like hyper arrested who did it. Not just regular arrested, like ultra arrested. the Pi 3 gold pin. AU is whatever, it's gold. I don't know why I read it as gold, but hey. <sighs> Jesus, Neku, this math beast. Dodge and Dust says not really, that is fairly simple math. I, you'd beat me in that contest then. You would demolish me in a square root figuring out contest. Only the brave. Yeah, okay, I'm not brave enough. Hey, pretty boy. Head to toe natural puppy. Look, look how gay it gets in this chapter. <laughs> I don't think Joshua is brave enough to wear it all anyway. Need to have him drink down some ice cream. So we're on hard now, by the way. Enemies are just stronger, if I remember right. I don't think there's much of a difference. Give me all your love. We haven't hit three minutes clapping yet. No, no, not yet. But I love that song. Is this the best track in the game? It's definitely one of them. If not the best, it's one of them. sound just disappeared. Do you guys still have sound? What the fuck just happened? Wait, I didn't pull on a cable at all. I just lost sound. Did you guys also just lose sound? Let me finish the battle. Do you guys hear this periodic ticking? Or is that just me? Because I hear a ticking now. Fuck. I'm gonna die now. This is scary. Is this new content? Did they add this to the game? <laughs> Sound machine broke. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Without sound, I'm not brave enough to fight. Yeah, it's really upsetting. 
playing this game with no music. It's just really not the same. I hope nothing broke. <laughs> like, I hope this isn't a $200 fix. Okay, I got, I got that pin back. Maybe I can survive this. Yeah, enemies have way higher defense. Or HP, one of the two. Kangaroos do a fuck lot of damage if they land on you, so... Can I hit you when you're like that? I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Once once I'm out of this battle, I'm going to try to troubleshoot this. Uh, I guess let's just start by pulling it out. Yep, there's sound on my switch. Let's put it back in. Unfortunately, the Elgato will not enjoy this. Hasaniko says he saw people at this part of the game around level 40 to 50. What the fuck? 40 to 50 at this point in the game? How? How would you even get that high? Yeah, okay, I was gonna say the Elgato was not gonna like this. By doing, I guess, yeah, doing all the battles would do that, wouldn't it? That's some wild grinding, though. Oh, man, my green screen's going crazy on my shirt. Okay, and music is coming out of my headphones now. You guys should have game audio again. Might be a little loud, though. Or it might be perfect. I'm gonna lean towards perfect. Should be fixed now. Weird. Really just weird. What did Makoto want? He said it was important. Hmm, lately he's been like a different person. You can't take oranges with other ones. Yeah, you can do the whole game at level 1, so I mean... It's, it's balanced really nicely like Kingdom Hearts in that way. Where like, yeah, if you're feeling crazy, you can totally do it. I still think level 1 Kingdom Hearts is very out of my reach. Whereas level 1 this game, like, I know I've done that. Not, not full playthrough, mind you, but like where my save file is on my DS version. I'm at level 1 on ultimate and it's fine. Because you still get to power yourself up a lot with like food and shit. So even if you've like gimped your HP, you still have a ton. Once you maxed out anyway. But it's like Kingdom Hearts how um, you get power ups just for beating bosses and shit and it's not all level up reliant. It's really intelligent, actually. Remember when I heard that about Kingdom Hearts, I was like, Jesus, fuck, Nomura is a hell of a game designer. You don't, I don't fuck with that idea. That is a good-ass concept. <laughs> fuck. I was too busy talking about him, and I didn't realize uh, Hajimari wa Owari. Owari Hajimari was playing. I like that song. Oh yeah, okay, we're at the tournament already. The tournament arc. Forgot this was so early in the game. Focus. Tell me who you are, who you were. Have fun, nephew. See ya. Oh my god, they took my healing pen. Better play good. This one's a lot easier than Shiki's. 
they give a lot of time. As much as I joke about not being able to count, like, it's really basic. Oh my god, his HP. Holy jeez. I don't fuck with these kangaroos. Okay, now we can get ice cream in this gullet. Whatever doesn't kill me. Yeah, I realize they're Kemi Tachis, these things. It's pretty clear. If you have not played Kemi Tachi no Yoru, you should go play that game. It's fucking awesome. There was an amazing uh, iOS Android port of Kemi Tachi no Yoru in English, and it was wicked good. Uh, I don't know if it's still on Android, but it did not get updated for newer versions of iOS, and it's, it's dead now. But that game's so fucking good. Night of the Sickle Weasel in, in English is the rough translation. It was uh, one of the big inspirations for Kotaro Uchikoshi in his career, the guy who wrote 999 and Ever 17 and such. It's a really strong visual novel. It's actually really called a sound novel because there's no like character art and shit, but whatever, it's a visual novel. Yeah, in English they localize it as Banshee's Last Cry, but I fucking hate that name. Tell me who you are. Like I get it, English people don't know what a Kamaitachi is, but it's a different it's not a banshee. Hi there. Okay, we gotta get Joshua dressed full drag. So we need 120 bravery minimum. We can wear short shirts, fortunately, which is low. But to get the shoes, to get the shoes, he needs at least 120 bravery. So that's not, that's not happening anytime soon. I don't think his bravery starts out all that high. I just want to get rid of the little exclamation mark that was on it. Uh, yeah, his bravery is 52, so yeah, no, that is not happening. Is this the honeybee in sequence of The World Ends With You? Yeah, kinda. Let's check for um, new stuff in each store, though. Shouldn't just skim them. Uh -huh. Although I should quickly grab some stuff for Joshua. <laughs> Whatever, even if it's not much. Thank you. I need to make Hello. some cash. I can get this now. Thank you. A lot of materials for it. There's no way to sort these boys, is there? Not really. Yeah, if you put the check mark, you can drag them immediately. But if you actually want to break it down, you need to check mark off, right? So the dick of the mono, show who's a medu, yo. So good. Oh shit, the wrench is to sort? Okay. I will remember that for next time. Right, I kinda remember that wrench now. <sighs> What's the odds of spooky games for Halloween? I wanna stream um, White Day, the PS4 version. 
So we'll do that. Oh, this song. Don't make this worse for yourself. I can't. Enough. How's yeah. my aim? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the black noises are big tough guys. You gotta be careful around them. They'll get ya. Follow my lead. Ah, there we go. Screw that. They have so much life. Oh, my God. Gotcha. Yeah. There. oh there we go. I was gonna say they were sturdier than I remembered, but they were like just on the edge after that super. Did they get there? Oh, I got sexy beam. Oh, sexy beam might be might be good to equip. Oh yeah, jeez. Okay. Forgot about that pen type. Try that one out. direction versus yeah it's so much stronger I want to keep my uppercut I have no reason to get rid of it yet anyway so trust me with your words I always dress in rags I completely forgot about this whole, like, Reaper symbol on stores. For some reason, I've just never questioned it over the past 10 years, within which I had forgotten it. Okay, time for the forced tin pin slammer section. Still playing Fortnite. I've been off it since the end of season five, but I'm sure I'll be back on my bullshit at some point. I played really hard in season five, so. <laughs> if 
fuck, this illustration. Jeez. Forgot about this. The source material here was really low resolution. This is probably like some of the original art and they just wrote stuff over it. Like rewrote stuff over it. Because that is not renewed or remastered in really any way. Hopefully I can make this happen. Oh shit, I went too early. Nice, getting bodied. Nice, I did it. Still getting bodied. I just need to bait harder. Am I using the stick to flick? No, you hold a shoulder button and then you move the controller. God, I'm doing really badly. I don't have good pins for this either. Okay, I hope this can go okay. I'm gonna try using the stick. I didn't know you could use the stick. So, let's see how that works. Oh yeah, the stick seems a lot easier. So usually the AI just runs into you if you if you use your um, spike ball. In multiplayer, it doesn't work so well, obviously. But show those fifth graders who's boss. <laughs> Physically beat them the fuck up. Yeah, that fucking stupid thing. I forgot about that. <laughs> the Red Kaiser. His cutscene death. Look at that, we didn't even have to do anything. Moral of the story, Joshua's always right.
Joshua playing games when lives are on the line. Kinda like that. He's a, he's a fun boy. But understandably, like, yeah, Neku doesn't want that shit. Yeah, those tin pin pins are like not actually that good for non tin pin use. There's a pig in this area. Yeah, they're on fucking Spain Hill, which is where he's blocking. Where's the piggy? There we go. Man, the perspective on this art. Oh shit, this is a real pig. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to deal with this one right now. There, okay, I did get him, fortunately. I wasn't sure Joshua was going to be strong enough to take him out, but... Phew. I forget about that pen, Izanami. Sorry. Am I blind? Oh, is it mastered? Yeah, it's mastered, okay. Uh, pyrokinesis. Oh, okay, so it's a, a better pyrokinesis. How better is it? Oh, mild pyrokinesis turned into something else, I think. I don't know what it is. It's a little better. Lasts 4 seconds, 35. Reboots in 7 seconds is pretty nasty, though. Yeah, I'm gonna keep using these newer pins for now. Are these pigs or metal slimes better? I like the pigs better than Metal Slimes, but I'm bored of most Dragon Quest things, so... His arm tattoo is always really cool. God, what does QED stand for again? QED. As an abbreviation of the Latin words quod erat demonstrandum, which loosely translated means that which was to be demonstrated, usually placed at the end of a mathematical proof to indicate that the proof is complete. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there it is.
Riku, no! Oh shit, are we going to the place today? This song's like big favorite. No, we're doing the fun stuff first, Neku. Hmm? Proceed to Cat Street, time limit 15 minutes. Yeah, definitely rush it if it's 15 minutes. Fortunately, it's not real time, so... battles uh we're week two day three right now that's where we're at hopefully i don't die here <laughs> Nice. Big whiffs. Saturday night. Oh, I love this song. Owari Hajimari. Remember. I remember very few of the lyrics. Oh. It's a hard song to remember. <laughs> Japanese rap is much too fast. That's one. for yourself. I always forget where that bit is in the song, where they say Owari wa hajimari, hajimari wa owari Owari wa hajimari, hajimari wa owari Owari wa hajimari, hajimari wa owari I have to try out Japanese reggae, oh my god I've never even thought of that kind of mix. I don't know what that sounds like. Follow my lead. Yeah, 4.7, 4.8 seems to be my like soft limit right now. Without like enhancing the amount of time I can do. But that's pretty good. I'm pretty content with that damage. Who's 
good as gone. How's my aim? I can't. I can't. Yeah. How's my aim? I don't really want to, but maybe I should turn down the levels for a bit. My attack's just not really high enough to kill the enemies quickly anymore. Come on, get out. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to replace the soda pin, because coming across one bad noise at this kind of level can really put you in dangerous positions. Like shark or rhino noises would be really, really dangerous at this point. Yeah, level is just HP. It's it's nothing else like that. But I should be getting a fifth tin slot soon if I remember right, so. Oh, I know no one was waiting for me to talk about this, ever, but I saw Venom the other night with my girlfriend. Better than I expected. Actually, like, super not bad. The first act kinda sucks, and it's like a, a hyper-long origin story, but once it kinda starts, which if you've seen it, I think is around the motorcycle chase, um, it's entertaining the whole way throughout. By the end I was like, yeah, I like this Venom character. He's entertaining. This Eddie Brock guy is a, a super dick, this this portrayal of Eddie Brock, but otherwise he's cool, I guess. It was enjoyable. I don't know, it was it was it was enjoyable. I I hope the second movie comes to be, which it seems like it is going to, and I hope it's better. Because they shouldn't have to waste the first act on fucking getting shit started. Did Shiki steal all our clothes when she left? Uh, yes. How many of those? Three of them? Okay. Four. Alright, let's do four. Give me all your love. Oh shit, Penguin's still alive, I didn't realize. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get five. I want to get five. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about five. That's not happening. Uh, no. We choked. But a surprisingly consistent 4.8. Five would be tough without any other enhancements. Don't give it to someone else. Give me all your love. Give me all your 
That's my aim. How's my aim? Gotcha. I can't stand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of getting used to Joshua's attacks now. They're like pretty easy to use, fortunately. I can't. How's my aim? Okay, one more set, one more set. You're good as gone. How's my aim? I can't. Hey. Hey. I can't. Oh my god, that damage stacked up quick. This is why I don't want to ditch my healing pin. I just died. Fuck me. I really like that in uh, Kingdom Hearts and The World Ends With You, the ability to just restart battles after you die. I'm so over RPGs just game overing you hard to the title screen when you die. Oh, the music bug just happened again. Well, I don't know if it was a bug. It'd be weird if it was a hardware thing, because it happened at the beginning of a, a, a subsequent battle again. That was what happened last time, I think. It was right as a new battle began. Fuck. That's, like, not... Not fun. I can fix it after this, uh, after this battle with this guy. Just for now, sing your favorite song to yourself. Ugh, so I gotta do the same shit as last time. Hopefully the Elgato cooperates again. We didn't get this uh, the previous times we've streamed this game either. Ah, still no, still no music. Uh, sorry, guys. Still no music. We should be hearing music even when it's paused. Uh, yeah, it's the game. I can still hear the switch. 
That's so weird. This is such an unfun bug. Hmm. Maybe there's no fix. Maybe I just have to play through the battle. What did we do last time? We finished the battle, and then I unplugged everything and plugged everything back in? Man, how tedious. Oh, look, it's back now. Oh, yeah, I should use my sight. Ah, I lost it. This is a bad one. Yeah, fuck that one. Oof. I mean, don't worry, guys. When the music goes away... It's not like we're missing out on the best soundtrack in video games or something. Just pretend it's some average soundtrack. Pretend we're playing Vampire Rain. Okay, this is going dramatically better. God, look how many items are dropping. I love this. This is hard difficulty. Hard difficulty, low level, and then up. You just drown in pins. Even on easy and normal, you get a lot of drops, but... Should also be able to feed Joshua again. Give me, give me a chance. Give me, give me a chance. It's edible. Oh shit! No. Okay. Considering the new version, do you have any opinion on Resonance of Fate? I've actually never played it. I bought. I still own a sealed copy of the PS3 version from when it came out. I think like the day it came out, but I've never played it. Very cool, but shit. Okay, penguins on normal difficulty. That's what we're going for now. Give me, give me a chance. But I think anyhow, I should be going to the stores because I think there's a new pin slot on this day. Yeah, this is a cool guy in the chat is also saying that I might be able to get a pin slot on this day too. Hi there. Come back soon. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Oh, yeah, let's get a big one. Big biter. Big chomps. <laughs> Oh my god, this brand advantage in this region. I don't know if you saw that at the beginning. Two of my pins are the third, and one of my pins is the first. Gross damage boosts. Usually I don't really play around the brands, honestly. Like, except in abnormal situations, like if there's like, a tough pig or something like that. Usually you don't fuss around it too much. Oh, the slot is at Dragon Couture? Okay. That's 
easy to get to. <laughs> I guess I was putting in my uppercut command wrong. I do still feel like every now and then I miss an input. Like, I've gotten better at it for sure, but I still feel like it's not perfect. Damn it, I'm getting a lot of hits. Okay, I might have got what I needed from that battle. That was Pop nice pendulum, yeah, there we go, I got two of them. Nice, okay. Dragon Couture is... Screen is That's fine. There are only so many screens in this game. Oh, maybe I can only get it after... After I finish this objective. That might be it. Oh, it's the place behind the 104? But I can't go to the 104 right now. I think I have to come back after I finish this objective. Like, unless I can get there past Molko? This room's always like been kind of a weird dead end. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I totally can't get it now, guys. Yeah, this is the first time you get to come here, it's true. <gasps> when you went to Shibuya, were you disappointed that it was just a sea of people obscuring the scenery? Uh, it wasn't, like, as crowded as I've seen photos on the day I went, because it was, like, midday on like a Monday or a Tuesday, I remember. I remember being like, oh, I thought it would be busier than this, but hey. Uh, no. 
it was it was fine. I mean, obviously, I knew this was gonna be a very romanticized version of Shibuya, so it was all right. It was not that cool in person. Joshua never stops. I like I, I always thought it was neat how powerfully uncool that move was of him, you know? Thank you. Like Neku's taking this super seriously, and Joshua's just like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna do my shit. I always dug that, how like very early on Neku became comfortable with Hanekoma. Oh wow, this. I totally forgot about this. This is like a super important thing too. His entire concept that we're about to get to. Here's our, uh, our claps, by the way. Three minutes clapping. Let me wake you up. This, this is like legit one of my favorite songs in this game. Like top five, easy. There it is. You can clap now. Everybody clap. Game's over.
Shut it all down. That's it. I still remember as a kid being like, wow, they somehow got this line in there. Oh, it works. Especially because um, the Japanese title of this game, Tsubarashiki Kono Sekai, is a really different, has a really different meaning from The World Ends With You. Like it translates more literally as like, what a wonderful world, kind of. So The World Ends With You is a very different title, and yet they still managed to get it in. They still managed to translate what he was saying appropriately. It all worked super well, and I'm still impressed. It just worked so good. Ultimately, yeah, I think The World Ends With You is a fantastic title, so it worked out for the best, no doubt. If I stand still, I can talk to Joshua. Thanks, Joshua. Much obliged. Appreciate the straight answer, dude. <laughs> Give me, give me a chance. Uh, yeah. Ugh, they're super uneven right now. Like, he's got two. Whatever. Whatever. If I remember right, yeah, it doesn't actually add anything here yet. What are these deeds again? Right, this was progress. Right, right, right. I gotta say, I really like the game having this, like, aggressive autosave at just about all times. It's cool. Like, literally every screen, save, 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 save. Oh, yeah, this song. You gonna bleed today, y'all. There he is. Fuck, I got tricked by backwards numbers. How deeply embarrassing. Oh, I choked. Yeah, Beat's allowed to do whatever he wants, that's correct. Dumbass. Fuck the rules. Get out. Oh. Jesus, he's got a lot of life. Oh my god. I forgot about the difficulty of this fight. I forget if you actually have to win this fight or not. Yeah, okay, I thought so. I was looking at his life and I was like, wait, this doesn't seem right. Oh, I love the trope of unbeatable bosses in JRPGs. I think it's sick. Unbeatable bosses in general is sick. 
never gonna not love that. Man, I don't know why I talk to these kids. I don't particularly love the Tin Pin narrative in this game. Yeah, on the topic of unbeatable bosses, I remember in Golden Sun using a Game Shark to power myself up so I could kill Satoru and Minardi at the beginning of the game. And I was just, I don't know, I was just really disappointed as a kid that nothing happened. It was one of those moments that like really pulled back the, the curtain on how video games work. And I was like, oh yeah, I guess nothing would happen. The battle would just end. We did doesn't even give you that much XP or gold or anything. Popular is natural puppy right now. It's nowhere. Okay. Um, so yeah, I can just equip two more of these guys. What do we got? Tap empty space slash Neku. Ugh. Ugh, yeah, it's all tap empty space, isn't it? Uh, number, I guess. Okay, yeah, I got entanglement at least. I always dress in rags. Oh, I got patrol rounds? Alright, those are going in. These are going to be some pain in the ass battles, but okay. Not too fussed about the clothing, it should be fine with pins too. Yeah, the Asylum Demon's great in Dark Souls, it's true. Especially if Dark Souls is your first Souls game. Nice, I totally whiffed. This is not as fun a pin set as I think I thought I was getting into. Yeah, the chains are all right. The, the early chains really kind of suck because they disappear so quickly, but some of the later chains you get are good. Instant startup pins are so fucking good. Like, get out of my face if you don't like instant startup. Trick question, nobody has to get out of my face because everybody likes instant startup. Seriously, your pin better be pretty fucking strong if you want me to wait to use it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Give me a chance. 
Oh god, what do they even have in the other slot? Uh... Yeah, I had you, Chimonji. Cho, who's a medi? Yo. Oh yeah, the lion, right. This was, uh, Shadow Ramen, right? We literally can't wait in line because nobody can see us. Yeah, they can just walk through people, but since the shopkeeps can see who's like next in the door, they're never gonna let them go because they're like, you weren't, you weren't in line, you just cut. I don't know why I came in here. Good day. Oh, yeah, that shit's expensive. Noise was that even? Give me, give me a chance. Oh yeah, jellies. Right. Yeah, that's not happening right now. Yeah, no, I know what the condition is, Asaniko. I just, I just am not dealing with that shit right now because I super don't need to do side quests. <laughs> Stovetopism. Honestly, if you want to get your work night to fly by, listening to the soundtrack of this game is probably just as good, if not better, than my stream. <laughs> God, I could go for some fucking ramen right now, I tell you what. I went to this, like, Chinese soup place yesterday with my girlfriend. It was a new restaurant. We decided to try it. Um, what is the type of soup? Over the bridge soup noodles? Is that what it is? Over the bridge noodles? 
crossing the bridge noodles. Yeah, we went for crossing the bridge noodles, which sounds complex, but it's, it's pretty similar to ramen. It's served a little differently. And we got that, and it seemed like it would be just as enjoyable, but we didn't really end up enjoying the restaurant very much. Uh, not that the food was awful, just not as good as our like local ramen haunts. And uh, immediately both of us were like, this was a mistake, we should have just gone for ramen. <laughs> and today I'm really hungering for it. There's a ramen place that delivers to my place. And let me tell you, when I found that out, that was the tightest shit. I think my girlfriend and I ate ramen every day for three days. <laughs> like, ramen delivery, boy. That's next level shit. Yeah, okay, cheese, by the way, great in ramen. You might not think it, works super good. Often, my girlfriend and I, from the same place, will order the Swiss cheese as an extra, and it's so good. Um, what do I usually go for? Honestly, I usually go for, uh, what's, the, what's the name of the restaurant? Um, Kintan Ramen, I just remembered it before I finished. Uh, it's a restaurant called Kintan Ramen. If you're ever in Montreal, I highly recommend it. It's super good. Uh, I usually go for their specials because they have a bunch of specials. They like always have, I think almost always have a special ramen on that they serve for like the month and only the month. And then they move on to something else. Some of them have just never come back either, which kills me, by the way, because some of them I really liked. Uh, but if ever I'm going for a plain one, I'll go for their, they have a uh, shoyu chicken ramen uh, that by default comes with Swiss cheese and it is fucking good. Yeah, Swiss cheese is the one that I think is is the good one. I mean, maybe, maybe old other cheeses would be good too, but Swiss cheese is good. <laughs> Commando Cho says he's never gonna fill out his card for that place. Yeah, okay, so that, that place, Kintan Ramen, they have a, they have a points card, right, where you get stamps on the card. You get a stamp on the card only for finishing your bowl. You have to finish the whole fucking soup, okay? That's a lot. That is a lot on any day of the week. That's a lot for a big boy like me, especially if you have one of the appetizers. And this is where it gets tricky. The appetizers are all rice-based, okay? They're these great little rice dishes with tuna or beef or whatever, and they are fantastic. That's the default combo, is it's uh, drink and the little rice appetizer and the ramen, right? So the problem is you eat the rice and the ramen fills you up fucking instantly because duh, of course it does. Rice just absorbs the liquid. Um, my girlfriend, who is tiny and cannot eat that much, cannot at all eat that much, is convinced that it's a ploy by big ramen to prevent us from ever finishing bowls, ergo prevent us from ever getting stamps, ergo prevent us from ever getting free shit. Big Ramen is pulling the strings and they're orchestrating the entire deal so that we can never get our free Kinton Ramen towel. <laughs> our hand towel that they offer when you finish a hundred bowls. <laughs> this is our life now. Yeah, wake up sheeple! Rise up against Big Ramen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Commando Joe's correct in the chat because he's been there before a few times. Um, the 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 top reward when you finish, if you finished a thousand bowls somehow is you get a free extra topping every time you order whatever topping you want. Just one per time, but any time you order, you get a free extra topping. So you want a free egg? Go for it. You want free cheese? Go for it. It's an absurd milestone. But if you actually went there that often, you might get good value out of that over your lifetime. <laughs>
Oh yeah, they want fancy. They want us to make fancy ram, and I forgot about this deal. I also wish I had a free egg. That would be good. Right now, I could go for a free egg. <laughs> what if you get to two thousand? It, it, the the tiers end at one thousand, but I imagine once you hit one thousand, you get this like shiny black card that has another set of tiers that go up in increments of 1,000. And they're like, you hit 2,000, you get a small car. Uh, you hit 3,000, you get to meet with the owner of the restaurant and you kind of get like introduced to the mob relations that go on back there. At uh, 4,000, you get to kill a person. Uh, and at 5,000, if you took the kill a person, you get one free mob hit. Uh, I imagine from there it, it only gets better. Um, but as a uh, <laughs> as as a ramen pleb, I have no access to this card. At ten thousand volts, you can rewrite history. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> that seems appropriate. At 10k, you get another free topping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. I wish I had that end to that joke. You killed it. You you win the joke. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird flashback there. That's what I mean, this game has tons of weird flashbacks. Some of them are placed better than others. At 100k, you're dead. <laughs> Probably. 100,000 bowls of ramen? How many, like, years would that, if you eat one a year, divided by, is it 356 days in a year? I can never remember. That would take 280 years. <laughs> uh, if you had three a day, it would take 93 years. So... Oh, it's 365? Fuck me. Look at me, I don't remember how many days there are in a year. Still 273 years. So, if you had three bowls of ramen a day for 91 years... Um, you could you could hit 100,000. If you add, if we add... In all fairness, if we add dessert as well... <laughs> So you're having four bowls a day. It's only 68 and a quarter years. So... You can manage. If I started now, I'm 26. If I was lucky and I started now, bearing in mind I already have like 20 stamps, maybe I could make it one day. Maybe. <laughs> Doable. It is doable. <laughs> Do I want to buy any of this shit right now? Oh shit, yeah, Big Bang. The joys of a universe made and unmade, friends across time shall be your ray of light. We gotta buy these at some point. There's a, there's a whole set of these boys. They are... interesting? Not great, Thank but interesting. You. Have you seen the girl on YouTube that eats unbelievable amounts of food? I think there are a fair hey, few man. people See like that, again. but... I don't know specifically who you're talking about, but I've seen some people. He only Fs the stuff he really likes. Me too! Eiji Oji. 
<laughs> His name's great. Yeah, everyone gets the pin. Yeah, I also really like the bones sticking out of the pot. I think that's cool. At that uh, soup place, the Chinese soup place I went to the other day, I had a big old bone sticking out of my soup too. I was like, damn, this feels real. What mission, Neku? What mission? Seriously. Today's ramen day. This is such a good section. Open up your senses. Okay, nothing to read in there. Wow, Arc V said when I was younger, when he was younger, he looked all over the city for ramen joints and unfortunately went to a shop that microwaved instant ramen in front of his face. Wow. You put that soup in your mouth and you spit it back out in their face. That's awful. That sounds seriously miserable. At the Chinese soup place I went to the other day, I fucking forgot. We ordered like this like crispy chicken thing that looked kind of like karaage and when it got to us it was like on the plate, it looked kind of like karaage as well, not just in the menus. I was like, okay, karaage, good. And then I like bit into it and I was like, this was frozen. Assholes selling me like frozen fried chicken. Come on, give me a break. Like if you're not a fast food place and you're trying to serve me frozen food, like fuck off. Uh, you can get away with it with some things, like peas. If you're if you're cooking peas, you can use frozen peas, and 99% of people won't notice. I don't think I'd be able to notice, but don't even try that with most foods. Oh, he says he was about 17 and too nervous to ask what the fuck. Yeah, I don't blame you, dude. I would have probably done the same thing in your shoes. Especially if I was 17 too at the time, so. Stovetopism says one time he ordered spare ribs at a Chinese restaurant and they legit were all fat, no meat. Ouch! That sounds awful. Spare ribs, like, it's such a hard thing to fuck up too. I guess they just must have got shit meat. Oh shit. Yeah, she's not a real ramen meister. Is that what they call them? What would the kids like? Dessert. Fucking do it. 
Take your cake and put it in the ramen. No, I don't want to give up on getting the fifth slot today. Just, can we actually access the store right now? Maybe we can now. Yeah, so I do have to do the jellyfish quest, don't I, if I want to get over there. Ugh. It's not the worst, but I don't remember which encounter was jellyfish. <laughs> Zero life enemies. <laughs> Predictable. Correct me if I'm wrong, but can't Joshua wear some female clothes too? Actually, all the characters can wear any clothing as long as they have enough bravery for it. It's not like a Joshua specific thing. So now I just gotta wait until one of these guys generates a, a red jellyfish. There it is. Gotcha. Now I wanna actually make sure he drops the pin after I kill him. Okay, I got a pin. If I wanna be safe, I can let them do it again. Actually, no, they only have one drop, so yeah, yeah, yeah. One drop per difficulty, that is, so I should be fine. There it is. Nice distraction. Yeah, I also agree about the the drops and the loot system in this game. It's so fucking good. It's so good that everything's just printed clearly for you. You know? And again, like one drop per difficulty really works. Both conceptually and in practice, it works fantastically. And the ability to like adjust your own drop rate by lowering your level, like everything about this game's like loot items works so fucking well. You mentioned a KH game uses or originally uses this system. Uh, I don't. I don't think I mentioned that. I. I, I don't think. I know Birth by Sleep has like their command system, which is somewhat similar to how the pins work, somewhat. Um, hmm. And they both have like similar uh, design in terms of how you can do like level one playthroughs and stuff. Oh, is it recoded? That so Hasaniko is saying recoded uses this system. So yes, might might be. I guess I, I I do remember that now from I think last stream someone brought that up. Might have been Hasaniko as well. Um, 
but yeah, I haven't actually played that one. <laughs> so, might be. Because that is a phenomenal system. So cool if Recoded does that too. Thanks. Thanks for the burger. The boy gun. What was the cost for that? Oh yeah, I'm super good. Till next time. Good day. Hello. Thank you. Welcome. Oh boy, that's some brave footwear. Till next time. Good day. Welcome to Sunshine. I wish you could just double tap or triple tap A or something just to buy immediately. Thanks, come again. Yeah, that's literally what the bag's for. It's for Joshua. Carry this purse. Is there another game that does the optional level setting for increased rewards like in this game? Well, I think, as people mentioned, Recoded, my... Oops, I forgot to talk about them. Um, other than that, I don't really know. Honestly, not really sure. I love how this guy becomes this trendy businessman. Like, over the course of such a short period of time, too. special though this week, honestly. I went to an event uh, at uh, Gameplay Space in Montreal, which is like a small game development community. Uh, that was fun. Got to hang out with some of my friends there. Met some of the guys who worked on Speed Brawl, which I streamed last week or something. I got to play a PC build of Speed Brawl with some of the fixes and improvements that are coming to the console version, and I was like, yeah, okay, this game's some real good shit. I've actually still been playing Speed Brawl after that last stream. It's really good. <laughs> Yeah, they fixed those those like performance hitches and stuff on the PC version already. PC version's like six patches deep, they're just waiting for I shouldn't really talk about stuff they told me actually. That's on them. The PC version's already six patches deep, and the console patches are coming, so. There was a, another change that he told me about as well, where um as much as I don't agree with the design decision, it was a choice they made. And it was just um, uh, all versions of the game had 100 milliseconds of latency applied in single player so that it was consistent with the multiplayer's lag. Um, and they actually, they ran that back uh, on the PC version and that's going to be run back on the console versions too. So I remember when I was playing it, I, I, I was describing the feel of the game as like 
weird in addition to the to the performance being a little imperfect and it turned out that yes there was like a heavy latency on the game at all times and that's that's run back for the new patch actually really looking forward to it it's a fun ass game Yeah, like, I also get it, like, consistency's cool, consistency's good, but I, I wish they hadn't done it. <laughs> but it's okay, you know what, they're fixing it, so, happy with that. This week or later? I don't know when their patch is coming, you gotta ask them. Yeah, Code Vein's 2019 now, Pariah. It, it was formerly 2018, but 2019 now. Cat designed, yeah. That was the, um, the, the the painting Neku was looking up at too. It was one of Cat's designs, and the one in uh, in Dream Drop Distance as well <laughs> is clearly based on that too. song of victory. It always plays when you win. But it's like some sort of Pyrrhic victory. Or like you worked hard for it or whatever. It's a good feeling song. Among the flavors, I can taste the love you put in this. So good. Is that you, Savas? <laughs> it's so good. It's a fun scene. God, this song is so good. <laughs>
real split ideologies here. Yep, show just took the day off. That's fine though. Boy is that fine cuz he's working on big shit. <laughs> Show's a hard working kid. <laughs> Give him a break. Which title do I prefer? It's the Wonderful World or The World Ends With You? The World Ends With You, absolutely. I always thought it was better than the original Japanese version. Look, they're just playing Tin Pin together. Just for fun. Neku's literally making them wait in one spot. <laughs> These children lying on the pavement in Shibuya, playing Tin Pin and waiting. I love it. I love how committed Neku gets to this bit. Oh yeah, I love this song. <laughs> You're so superficial. Shit, we're getting a taboo noise right now? Okay. I thought this was like later game stuff, but okay. You can get her dress. I think I mentioned this before, but you can totally get her dress in this game, by the way. And you can make your characters wear it. I made Beat wear it. Takes a lot of bravery. <laughs> You can get uh, Kitaniji's headphones too, if I remember right. Yeah, it's really good. It's one of the best pieces of gear in the game. Diger says, uh, I've always wondered if Kitaniji having headphones is thematically significant. Like if it's to show a similarity to Neku. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, think about how Neku views the world with his headphones on, and it, you know, maybe that goes somewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're onto something there. It is, it is a neat, like, little thematic mirroring bit. Gonna jack Shibuya. It's like a two channel, but people just throw their anger. Forget about those foul actions. What's my menu music set to? Right now it's U parts, but only because we don't have three minutes clapping. Huh? <laughs> 
Yeah, if I remember right, narratively, this is a really interesting day. So I think this is a perfect place to wrap up for the evening. Um, oh boy, uh, week two. I'm just remembering how intense it starts to get towards the end. Um, I mean, obviously, if you look at how a plot is structured with your Act 1, Act 2, Act 3, like, the climax of Act 2 always has to be a big deal, and... Fuck, it's all kind of coming back to me slowly. It's a good climax, tell you what. We'll, we'll get to that soon. Yeah, this is super interesting. Bye, jerks. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, we're just getting to the good, good, good shit. Um, the other... I was remembering earlier, like, when we got Joshua as our partner, um, the intro to another character's, like, um, partnership with Neku, and how sick it is. Spoilers, there may be a third partner. Spoilers. Um, and spoilers, that partner may have a sick intro when that person appears. So, super pumped just for that. That cutscene, I still love it. I miss that cutscene. I wish I was watching it right now. And the Shadow Ramen um, arc was a lot meatier than I remembered. I, I, like, I had totally forgotten it existed. If you asked me before this stream about it, I'd be like, a what? The what? Um, but as we started doing it, I was like, right, this was a thing. And it was, it was like, quite lengthy. It felt pretty long. I, at the beginning, I thought I had roped myself into a side quest. And then I was like, wait, no, right, that's just what this day is. This day is literally the conflict with Big Ramen. And we did it. We actually did be... Big ramen. <laughs> now, anyone can get their stamps when they eat ramen. Not just big people or people who are good at eating food. Anyone can have ramen stamps. Anyone can be granted permission to get an extra free topping and or a small car. Anyone at all. We brought them down. Yeah, they shut down, so we, we won pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I, I guess to update you guys a little bit, I'm we're the weekend right now. It's Saturday. Happy weekend, by the way. Congrats, you made it through another week. Um, next weekend, I'm going to be out of town. Uh, me and some friends, including Matt uh, and his wonderful wife, Liana, uh, are going to um, my girlfriend's parents' little like cottage shack thing in... in uh, Upper New York State. It's not as fancy as it sounds. I remember some guy on a forum one time giving me shit because he was like, I don't like listening to Liam on the podcast because I can't relate to how wealthy he and his girlfriend are. And I was like, what? What do you mean? And the guy was like, because you guys have a cottage in New York. And I'm like, oh my god, no, it's the most rundown shack. Like, don't get me wrong, it's fun, but it's not. <laughs> it's not a mansion on a lake. It's, it's real small. Last year, um, me and my girlfriend and Matt and Leanna went down uh, near Halloween and we watched all of Friday the 13th. We watched uh, all seven movies. I don't think we got to the reboot, but we watched everything else. Maybe we did watch the reboot. No, I don't think we did. Uh, this year, we're going to be watching all the Nightmare on Elm Street films. I've seen none of them. I've only seen Freddy vs. Jason, as far as, as Freddy media. So I'm really keen to see that. Uh, I've always been really intrigued, ever since I was a kid and terrified of Freddy Krueger in the um, horror movie section at my local Super Club Vidéotron. Um, especially, I think, the f third or fourth movie, The Dream Warriors. I've always been incredibly intrigued uh, by what the fuck goes on. So, yeah. 
the hard-boiled one says, no offense, but you don't really strike me as wealthy. Yeah. No, I don't. I shouldn't. If I am striking you as that, then I'm clearly doing something wrong. Uh, no. Yeah, wealthy is something I've never really been, for sure. My, uh, my parents divorced when I was young. I think they were two years old. My, my, my mom remarried a few years later. And uh, her and my stepdad, I would say, are well off. Um, I would say they're, they're well off. My dad's side, my dad also remarried shortly after, and uh, my, my dad's side of the family, it has never been so well off, and that's always been, it's always been tough, but you know, we get by. Um, it's tough to be caught in the middle of that too, a little bit, you know, when it's like, I want to buy really nice Christmas presents for all my brothers and sisters, like on my dad's side, but I feel like I, you know, have to do the same on my mom's side. And it kind of like, kind of like binds me a little bit. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough to be in the middle of two families like that. I mean, I love them all dearly. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. Boy, this sure got real, didn't it? <laughs> this sure got real. Uh, yeah. I love my family. I'm not wealthy. I've never been a wealthy boy, and I probably never will be a wealthy boy. So. Uh, anyway. Let me let me crack open crack open the calendar. So I'm gonna be on I'm gonna be on on Monday again with uh, Magic the Gathering Arena, uh, non-sponsored stream. We're just gonna continue what we were doing last time because it's a good fucking time. And then on Wednesday next week we're gonna be on with uh, the Missing, uh, JJ McField, and the Island of Memories. We're gonna just do the I don't know 20 30 minute cleanup of uh, all the extra character dialogue and stuff that you can get post game. Um, so that shouldn't take long, and then after I've got a small set of Switch games uh, lined up, including the Midnight Sanctuary, which I deleted and re-downloaded and played a, like 10 minutes of, and it indeed does not crash anymore after the first cutscene. So we got stuff. We got stuff to check out. I have some other Switch games that I'm thinking of doing as well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that secrets, so... Yeah. I wish I could get paid for magic again this week. I fucking wish. That was really great. Hey, j I guess just as a follow-up, because I kind of alluded to it, but um, the payment in the magic for the magic stream was dependent on performance. And there was actually like a floor I had to surpass in order to get paid anything at all. I was a little worried I wouldn't hit the floor. I can't divulge specific numbers, but I did hit the floor and then some, and it it paid out it paid out well. I mean, it pretty darn well for four hours of streaming. Um, and I all, all around have, was really happy with how that went. And that seemed like a good time. The reception seemed good to it as well. I didn't feel like I had to be too shilly. Uh, I don't know, I felt comfortable the whole time. You know, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was being gross or like working like promoting a brand I didn't like and I felt like everyone all you guys were you know pretty down with how it went as well so you know now now that I've actually gotten paid for it and everything I must say I feel like that went really well and I had a good time and I'm glad that that's an option I've I've already gotten some other offers from the same thing but they're shit so I'm not taking them off. <laughs> I'll have to wait for something else to come up. Apparently, a few weeks before I got in for MTG Arena, they were doing Call of Duty 4 Black Ops Blackout Mode. And I'm like, fuck. The Blackout Mode's really cool. <laughs> I would've liked that. <laughs> but hey, yeah. No, I was really down with how that went. Call of Duty's obviously a little off-brand for me, but <laughs> that's still a fun one. Hopefully, I doubt it'll ever happen again, but magic would be a fun one again, for sure, so. <laughs> uh, anyhow, shoutouts tonight to, uh, and over the past few days, I should say, to Super Sugoi Senpai 1, Surfy Keats, Coco Jambu, Aloe Vera, Data Nazush, Data Nazush, K Sabbat, Orc Failer X, Orc Fire X, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Mysterious Zim, Boss Cowbell, Boss Cowbell, 
and Diamond Dynamo for their subscriptions. Uh, shoutouts also to Lily Diculus. Lily, is that right? Yeah, Lily Diculus for his or her donation. Uh, hey, because of you, I went to sleep and woke up multiple nights with Toei music stuck in my head. That almost sounds like a complaint, but it's not. Love your streams, Liam. Keep it up. Can't wait for KH3. Uh, you're super welcome. That I agree that that's really not a bad thing, and I, I love having the world of you music stuck in my head as well, so I'm glad this is something I could share. Uh, Shoutouts also to Dr. Deathbed. Uh, <laughs> I think this was when the audio cut the first time he donated and said, R.I.P. Elgato, have a money to help ease the pain. Yeah, man, I've been thinking for a while about buying a new Elgato, but just as it gets bad, it suddenly starts working again, so I don't know. I think it's aware. <laughs> I think it's aware. I'm kind of feeling like the next major line Elgato puts out, I might buy a new one of those rather than buying a new, because I have a 60S, I don't have the um, the top, top, top of the line one um, that you like have to like put in your computer and shit, because it has to be plugged right into the motherboard, but, but the S is alright, so for now I think I'm just going to wait it out until there's a new one. Uh, and shoutouts also to the Olivemeister for his or her donation. Uh, they say, it took me almost a decade to realize that Sho's Sokotoa lines were originally a play off Soka, and I had to take that in for a while. Anyway, week two is just as fun as I remembered. What with the math and the flirting and the foreshadowing. It's such an interesting mix, isn't it? Uh, I agree, the foreshadowing gets really hot and heavy. And while the first week is, like, somewhat mysterious, it feels like a pretty, like, lowball entry to the story. And then the moment you get into, like, the second week, they're just throwing... What's the base... So in baseball, when you throw, like, not hard, it's like a low ball, right? What's, like, when they throw it fast? Is it a fast ball? Probably, because if you throw it low, it's a low ball. Yeah, so week two becomes, like, fast ball plot, and it's scary, and it's, like, all of a sudden really menacing, and real shit's happening. Week two is just a really exciting part of this game. Stuff gets so... so much more real immediately. Uh, the stakes are immediately raised the second you're in week two. It's good. It's just a good time. So thank you for your donation. Uh, Shoutouts also to Commando Joe, who gifted a handful of subs just now to a handful of people, which I assume is a thing that costs money. Uh, so I appreciate it. <laughs> it's very nice of you. Uh, anyway, I'm off for the evening. Again, I'm going to be on uh, Monday at 6 p.m. Uh, for Magic the Gathering Arena. Um... Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, Oran says, my Call of Duty stream after Persona 5 came out was lit. It was. It was a good one. <laughs> I always forget that that stream has that goof going on the whole time. Like, it was more of a joke than anything, but in the back of my head, I was kind of worried about getting taken down by the Atlas police. <laughs> so, hey. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anything about baseball, guys. I've been to, like, one baseball game in my life. So, yeah. That's not happening again. Anyway, I'm off. Take care, you guys. Have a good evening. Sleep tight. Bye bye.